Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to TaylorMade Beauty by Chris. Today I have a chatty, get ready with me, full face, using a lot of stuff that has come in my BoxyCharm shipments recently. So this beautiful fall look, it's in there. Stay tuned. Let's start with that Glotion from Tarte that came in one of the September boxes. And as you can see, I'm all fresh-faced, morning routine, plus, um, plus what? <laughs> SPF. And, okay, this is, so as, as something that's labeled or called Glotion, yes, we would expect it to be very moisturizing, and this does feel very moisturizing. It is um, thinner than other primers that I'm used to. I have been trying to use up the Pat McGrath primer, which I know probably not a lot of you have, but it is, um, it's very similar to what? Uh, the no, no, it's no problem, but it's poor instead of problem, and my brain will not make that work right now. So, um, I'm not expecting too much in terms of like blurring pores from this or even uh, blurring fine lines unless it plumps them because it does just feel really, um, it feels like part of my skincare that I would put on in the motion, uh, in, the mor in the morning. I was just reading the back here and it says, use alone for a healthy glow. Well. Yeah, use alone if you want it, your face to look like an oil slick. Not what I'm going for today. Under makeup for added radiance. Yeah, radiance, okay. Mm, radiance, not what I'm really going for. But let's let it set down. Let's keep going. Graceful Beauty was going on and on about this lid lifting treatment from City Beauty. And they recently had a pretty good sale, and so I picked that up. I'm trying it out for you. Uh, I guess maybe that's a bit of a pro tip. Um, around any kind of holiday, like you don't think of Labor Day as being a big shopping holiday, but I think the retailers are all so desperate that they're turning everything into sales. And for um, a lot of brands, yeah, they're doing like 30-40% off, so if you don't follow them on social media, maybe you should because that's where a lot of it is, including, I mean, Pat McGrath has had 25% off on their website. Now, not everything, but a lot of stuff, and I picked up a bunch of By Terry stuff that I need to shoot because I'm kind of loving it. I need to shoot that for you, uh, but uh, City Beauty was one great sale on that. So I do use that and then I go in with my MAC paint pot because I'm still completely and totally loving this. I love that it does two things. One, it primes the surface, it smooths it out so my eyeshadow goes on better. And two, it's got some coverage so it covers over little veins and whatnot. All right, so clearly that primer has had plenty of time to set up, so we're gonna go in with this Pure Lease BB Cream with an SPF 40 that we don't rely on in light warm. So here's hoping that it's a decent shade. And let's see, how runny is it? No, it's a good, it's enough, that's nice and thick. All right, I have high hope. Oh goodness, <laughs> That is not nearly dark enough. Let's uh, let's shear that out. It is still. Oh, okay. All right. So it's mostly uh, you know physical sunscreen in here, but it has a very mild scent of suntan lotion and it is way way too light for me like even kind of dead of winter this is way too light 
So um, sharing it out clearly is helping. Although I feel like when I'm looking at my monitor here, I still look like Casper. So uh, is it doing anything for coverage? Yeah, not really. I'm sorry, my hair is just not cooperating this morning. Um, yeah, it is really... No. Yeah, if you're looking for any kind of coverage, it says natural and glowy cover. This is just a glowy, yeah, I'm feeling like a glowy mess. So, that's no bueno. So let's go in with today. Beauty Bakery Flower, because this did come in BoxyCharm at some point. And, okay. I just... I'm just a hot mess this morning. I brought down some brushes, not all brushes. I'm just gonna go in with the biggest brush I've got down here, which is this Refer 05. Oh, Refer, that's another one. Um, these are really, really lovely Japanese natural bristle brushes. And even Refer had a 40% a off sale um, over Labor Day. And it might even still be going on. You know, check it out. Uh, if you've been lusting after some nicer brushes, I'm going to be using some of their eye brushes here in just a bit. The good news is the Beauty Bakery powder seems to be taking down all the shine. So that feels better. Goodness sakes, let's, uh, let's try this, um, I don't even know, Dido palette. This is the one that came in the August box. It would be prudent to swipe this palette before using. That's a recommendation for any new palette that you've got that you're like, ooh, I'm curious. Let's see how it is. Uh, so I am just going to start with the lighter shades. This Venus, Mercury, Earth, Moon. First of all, how well, oh, all right. How well did those swatch? Pretty good. And so not surprising, the two lightest ones on the bottom there, you can barely even see. We'll do this swatch here with um, Phobos. Okay, here we go. Uh, Demos, EO. Let me try to actually pick up a fair amount on these. And Mars. Mars on the thumb. Okay, there are those. Ooh, that Mars is pretty. Those are better. And let's see how they how they transfer. Oh yeah. Those those actually look really nice. I'm much more impressed with this palette after those four swatches than the first ones. And that may have just been user error. And now the last ones, these darker ones, and maybe I didn't get Jupiter before, so going in with Callisto, Ganymede, Europa, and did I get Jupiter before? Okay, Ooh, there you go. And yeah, okay, so I think the first four swatches were just user error. I didn't uh, get enough product on my fingers for those. This actually looks like a nice palette. Have, have any of you heard of this company before? D-I-T-O? I, -T -O? I um, have not. So uh, I did pick up some new Refer eye brushes during their sale. They had a they had a set, so what I have here is um, 26, just like a pencil brush, the 27, a big fluffy brush, the 28, a smaller flat shader brush, the 29, which, this is one of those things looking in line versus when you get it, it is a flat brush. Um, I have a feeling once I start playing with this, I'm going to love it, but right now I'm a little, a little afraid of it. And then um, also a teeny, teeny, 
tiny little, this is the number 23 brush. So let's, and then I brought down the 13, with, which is a small crease brush that I already owned. So um, I want to go down, I'm going to lay down some all over color with that mercury, that lightest, it's a matte shade. And that's really a, a good good advice for any palette you know if there's a if there's a light color in there that will work as just base for everything sometimes that really helps other colors lay down uh, if some of you are extremely fair then this color would actually work as a transition color for you if you're a little darker this is a highlighter so on me it it just barely even shows up but it does give a nice foundation. I am going to start, I'm going to start with Earth. And I'm just picking it up on my finger, right? A lot of times with shimmers, your finger is your best way to go. And I'm just going to press it in the center of my lower lid. I don't mean to be flipping you off. <laughs> that is not, that's not my intent. It's just what I what I picked up. That is lovely. It is a really lovely kind of light coppery shade. Beautiful. We are having a very rainy, supposed to have bad storms here in Seattle today. I'm not ready for it. It's the, it's the middle of September. I still want summer. Mother Nature has decided, no, we are plunging you headfirst into fall. So why not have some fall looks? Let's um, let's do it. Let's pick up that Mars. I think that was nice and light. It's one of these where it's got a lot of different. Oh, no, it is quite dark. So where I was going to hit the inner corner. No, no, no. I'm going to hit the outer corner. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Outer corner with that. That is a much darker, deeper copper shade, a little bit towards rust. And that looks lovely out there. And I'm just tapping it on and then using my finger to blend it into that original color. So blending Mars into Earth. Then we better find something light. Let's do Venus. That is that really bright one. And I'm going to go in with a teeny, teeny, tiny refer brush. And let's just get that on the inner, inner bit, inner qu quarter, 20%. It is really light. Very, very light. A nice highlight. It might be too light for the inner corner for me, but you know what? As long as I'm here, I'm going to hit the upper brow with that. All right. And i got to say, this super teeny, teeny, tiny Ruffer 23, I am kind of loving because it is so tiny. It is great for under brow highlight when you just want want a hint, want a shimmer that, that's not going to be too much. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a soft palette. Can you see how much uh, even just that went into, dug into Venus there? Let's, we need some more, we need some more depth. Let's try a little Phobos, this matte right here. And I'm going to go in with that small crease brush that I've got. And I'm tapping... You see, as you see the cloud of pigment go, definitely tapping off. And I'm going up just above where I put down those other colors and uh, in what, what would normally be my crease. And that is actually blending in quite nicely. Nice and uh, a sheer wash of color, which is what I was going for. So color me happy about that one. Uh, it is Friday when I am shooting this, and I realize it's not going to go up probably till next Thursday. So, hi, and I hope you've got great plans for the weekend or just a nice relaxing weekend. Here we go once again where I went in way heavier on this eye than the first, so let's get it evened out. Um, my kiddo called to see if I could pick them up from school to get their hair cut. So I'm excited. So tomorrow I am doing that driving. It's about an hour to where they're going to school. 
just kind of a perfect distance, right? So I'm driving down there, picking them up, bring them back. They're going to spend the night. We're going to play games as a family, have a nice dinner. Oh, I really like that. And these warm browns and coppers are really popping my green eyes. Yeah, really like that. Let's try that Funky Monkey Teeny Tiny Ruffer 29. And what are we going to go into? I'm debating between this Gandymede, this dark one, and the Eo. You know what? Because it's so super teeny tiny, I'm going to go into that Gany Ganymede. G-A-N-Y-M-E-D-E. -E -E. M-E-D-E. Yeah, okay. Um, if I knew more about astronomy, I'd probably know those names. And going right under the lash line. Holy cow, you can be precise with this brush. That is, that's kind of a dream. I like that. Oh, man, I don't, something I used, I've got little bristles. You know what? That refer. Sometimes, okay, sometimes, actually I get it with my Big Wayne gloss too. Sometimes these little natural bristles, you just get one that sticks. Oh, drives me crazy. Alrighty, and here, let me ro rotate so hopefully you can still, oh, it's right there. There we go. Still see me. Uh, yeah, so excited about that, and my youngest now has his license, and uh, we got uh, our oldest, um, a, uh, what, a Ford Fusion, but an electric one, a plug-in one. And uh, when they went off to college, they did not take their car. And so my son is now driving himself to school. And maybe the best part, he had an orthodontist appointment yesterday. And all I had to do was sign a note and dude took himself which, fabulous, like, I feel like a totally free woman. Wow, I love this teeny tiny brush. Love it, love it, love it. So what I did there as I was chit-chatting with you, I clearly went below my lash line, and then just a wee wee bit on the upper, just, I make this teeny tiny triangle and then blend it into my lash line with my shape eyes and not much of a movable part of my lid that shows. Oh, I touched my face with some eyeshadow there. Okay, yeah, I'm really liking that. I am feeling like I need to do something with these brows. So, if you recall, not too long ago, I got Rare Beauty and it was a two, it's a pencil and a pomade, I believe. So I'm gonna go in with the pencil. This shade is Rich Taupe. So let's just darken up the brows a wee bit. There you go. See, I mean, boom. Look what a difference even that makes. Honestly, if y'all aren't doing your brows, if you're gonna, I, I think if you can only, you know, if you're like, I got two minutes in the morning, what should I do? I think, I'm, t I'm it's a toss up between brows and mascara. Like if you were only gonna do one, I don't know, I think just try it on yourself. Put on a coat of mascara one day, brows another day, see which gets more bang for your buck there. But, okay, yep, it's, all right, I'm not a professional. Don't try this at home. Uh, this brow pomade. Because it looks tinted. It doesn't seem to be giving me a ton of color. Let me pop over to the 7X mirror here. Okay, yeah, um, in the 7X mirror, I can really see it. Maybe it's showing up on camera. And I think I am down here without a spoolie. Like, could I be a little less prepared for shooting this video? My apologies. 
hopefully you're getting at least like some laughs out of it. All right. Had I had a spoolie and maybe a Q-tip, I think that would have gone a lot better, but I'm just going off to Costco today. Uh, so there's that. What should we tackle next? Let's, um, let's do some blush. Actually, oh, yeah, we're doing blush. So I didn't have any blush that I have used from a palette. And what I grabbed, so I looked at my stash and I got this Anastasio Trio that I don't think I've ever used. I mean, I okay, I can't say I've never used it, but like if I used it, I used it once. Uh, so let's give Anastasia a try, and I'm going to go in with this most kind of muted shade first. This is a really old school refer P09A. I know they make it, I'm pretty sure they renamed it something easier than P-O-A-9, but, you know, about, I don't know, a year, year and a half, two years ago, something like that, they really were um, developed. You could order different length handles, different finishes on the handles. It was really, um, it was really nice. They clearly now have more production capability or producing more, and uh, you don't get a choice of your handles anymore. Uh, they come a little shorter. Do I have are these all the same? No, you can see there. This longer one is one of the original ones I got where I could pick my length. And the fluffier one, it's just a wee bit, a wee bit shorter. All right, so I did that, um, that more muted shade here in the back. And ooh, I'm going to try this bright orange. I am just kissing it. Yeah, that's that's nice actually. Works in play as well with that eyeshadow and just blending it back. And that's a you know another pro tip for blushes, especially when you know in the pan it may look like circus peanut orange. Just take a whisper of it on your brush. You can always build up more color if you didn't pick up as much as you wanted to begin with. All right, so, okay, that's, that's coming together. <laughs> what am I going to do? You know what, let's, I didn't, I brought down no contour, no bronzer. That's okay, kind of don't need it today. I'm just going to hit this with my Holy Grail setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. Plus, I have so freaking much of this stuff. I bought it in last year's Nordstrom sale, and I still haven't cracked into it because the stuff lasts a long time. Speaking of the sale, as I'm letting this dry down, this is that free people ruched arm shirt with a little bit of puff here in the shoulders. <gasps> I was like, oh, kind of pissed off because it's all rainy and gross and I don't feel like dressing in full stuff, but I was going through my closet. I'm like, oh, that still has the tags on it. I'll wear that and it made me a little happier so that's good all right I think we're sufficiently dried down let's go in with mascara and I found this Anastasia Beverly Hills lash brag volumizing mascara and I went I don't remember buying this I would have never purchased this must have come in a box then so I think that qualifies for subscription box. it is a big tube a big ombre tube. I'm not curling my lashes today. Um, oh, all right. It is the brush. I do appreciate the hourglass brush shape, and I do like the brush, not the rubberized silicone bristles. And I'm just going to use the mirror here and do the death defying thing of put mascara on on camera. It is nice. It's not clumpy. So it, it it's definitely going to take uh, several, at least two coats, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I would prefer a mascara that's well behaved, that requires a little bit of building up, than a 
clumpy, messy mascara that leaves you in a hard spot. And this is weird because I normally um, use a magnifying mirror for this. So give me a second. Dang, I am impressed with this mascara. All right, I did two coats. It has flipped my lashes up. They look amazing. I am going to zoom you in. Wow. All right, that was um, unexpectedly fantastic. So, woohoo! That's nice. I'm going to go in with this oh, Zoeva, the um, Powerful Lip Twist in shade Celine. And this was this was this thing that was like a cross between a lip pencil and a lipstick. And it glides on. It feels so good. Super, super slippery, like almost like a gloss. All right, wow, that's pretty. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Um, I must still have something on my fingers because. I've got a little bit of eyeshadow on my upper lip. What? Like I said, I am just a freaking hot mess today. Uh, let's go back in. I don't even have finishing powder. Powder is powder. Let's go back in one little coat of the Beauty Bakery. And, oh, you know, I wanted to mention to you, since this is kind of using... Boxy charm stuff. So this morning I used, I remember telling you about the blue tansy face mask and how that was in my favorite kind of muscle rub stuff. So one, it is super liquidy. It is runny, like um, like maple syrup runny. Two, it has that blue tansy, it gives it kind of a medicine-y smell. Like Vicks Vapor Rub, not so bad because there's no menthol in it, but still, it is it is definitely a hint of that. It says it is a resurface resurfacing clarity mask. Eh, I didn't think so. I mean, I just used it this morning. I, I was I didn't like the smell, and um, the performance wasn't all that in a bag of chips. So, yeah, not my fave. And then that lip stuff, that Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm, that is thick. It is thick, thick, thick. Like, uh, if you're kind of a vintage like me, the wax lips, right? Remember that? The candy store, the big wax lips. Okay, almost like that. And there's a little bit of, um, of what? Of like exfoliant? something or other in there, I, which it doesn't say anything about being exfoliating. And I put it on when I did the mask, just to feel it. And uh, but, but super moisturizing, super moisturizing. I showered, it was still on. I did all my skincare, it was still on. Like this stuff lasts like crazy. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try it at night. See how my lips are in the morning. So that was kind of interesting. So did I use everything I meant to? I think so. There you go. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. This Dido Venus Palette Limited Edition from Dido, D-I-T-O, cosmetics.com. <gasps> Color me impressed. I think that is such a pretty fall look. Also, I'm loving the Zoeva lip. It is a matte lipstick. Like I can, it has dried a little bit, but it it's still comfortable. Like it's not, it's not Sahara Desert kind of dry. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you have a fabulous day. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Take care.